Today I'm going to show you how to install the Bighorn trailer jack on a trailer. And I've got it set up already so that the trailer is attached to the vehicle and that gets the weight off the old trailer jack. We'll start off by removing the clip that holds the bottom portion of the existing trailer jack in, pulling the clip out, and dropping the old base off. I've already got these bolts pre-loosened but we'll then use a wrench to remove these bolts. Once the three bolts are removed, I'll simply lift up on the old trailer jack and put it aside. At this point, we have our new trailer jack and we'll need to do the same. Release the pin, pull out the pin, and we'll lift the trailer jack into place. I'll insert it into the into the uh, slot on the trailer and I'll reinstall my bolts. Next I'll install the new bottom plate onto the new trailer jack. You'll keep in mind that there are four different height settings on this piece. You're going to want to choose the highest setting that is uh, will keep the jack plate low enough so that it will press against the ground on full extension of the of the trailer jack but so that it will also give you as much ground clearance as possible this is important for going up over hills and ridges so I'll place it into position making sure I line up the notches and I'll install the hitch and and reinstall the pin once the pins been installed and secured we're able to test our trailer jack I've plugged in my trailer jack I've gone inside the vehicle and set the uh, ignition to uh, position two or accessory. And I've also turned on the headlights just in case that matters for some vehicles. I see a light is on, on my trailer jack. And I'll be able to use this switch to control the movement of my jack pad. At this point, I'm going to test my trailer jack to make sure that the setting that I've chosen for this pin inside the plate column is going to be long enough that when my trailer is extended fully, it will have enough room to clear my trailer ball. And we can see that's worked perfectly. The trailer jack has successfully been installed and we're ready to continue detaching the hitch. I'm going to perform one further install and that is that I'm going to wire in the trailer's seven pin connector and the seven pin connector from the trailer jack together so that I don't have to swap plugs back and forth. This step is completely optional. And I'm going to begin by using a screwdriver to remove this screw from the side of the uh, connector for the vehicle. I'll then pull out the center part of the connector. Once that's been separated, I'll remove the two screws that have wires connected to them. And then I'll repeat the process for my original connector that came with my trailer. Now that the connector portion has been removed from the connector housing, I have my two wires exposed and I'll need to remove this screw to be able to pull the wires out from the plug. I've also disassembled the original factory connector from my trailer and I will feed the two wires from my trailer jack into the base of this. Now that I've got my two sets of wires fed into my original connector, I need to connect the white wire 
to where it says white on the original connector and the black wire to where it says black. It says it right above the screw. It's probably hard to see on the video, uh, but make sure that you put the white to white and black to black or you'll blow a fuse in your vehicle. Once I've put the uh, wire securely on their appropriate uh, screws, I'm gonna seal everything back up and then I can test it. Make sure that you push any of the, uh, the protective coverings for the wires into the base before tightening this screw. So now that I've connected both the wires and plugged it in, we can test the operation of our trailer jack. And that seems to be working well.